Well, good day, puzzlers. Welcome back to the Super Mario puzzle. It is complete. Finally, I found... I had a problem with two pieces. The colors were pretty darn near exact. Which sucked, but I think we've got it. I don't remember now which ones I found that were wrong. Although, you know what? I'm almost seeing something else not quite right here, too, with maybe this piece. I don't know if you can see any difference. You're probably not with a kind of a glare. But anyways, today we we're going to glue it. But uh, there's a couple little pieces here that have, like, I don't know if it's supposed to be part of the picture or if it's just the way it was printed. Let's get you in a little closer and you can see the difference. I think it's maybe... The way it was printed, so you see, uh, get you a non glare here if that's possible at all. You can see, uh, where's one here? This one, oh, the white, white on it there. It's kind of hard to see, but and the one next to it's you know, they're fairly clean, but I think that's just the way it was printed. So I'm gonna go with it. I don't care, I'm done. <laughs> Uh, oh, no, you know what? I do see something that's definitely not right. This one here does not belong there, even though it fits freaking perfect. The color is definitely not right. Let's see if we can get a shot of that. Yeah, you can definitely see the, the wrongness in that color. So it's, I don't know, for somewhere else. Uh... Jeez. But then I see one that's supposed to be here, and it's not the right color. It's like a darker, and then, it, I don't know. I don't know if that's right or not, but, uh, uh, so. That one is definitely not right. It should be higher up. But I don't have one up here that's lighter. I'm just going to glue it good enough. It's going to hang on a wall. That's all we're going to see. So, uh, whoa. So, what we got to do here is I've got some of this puzzle glue. Pretty good stuff. Comes with like a little squeegee guy here, or you can use like an old credit card kind of type of thing. This is it here puzzle glue. And uh, basically, if it gets through onto the table, it should come off right, hopefully. Basically what we want to do is uh, glue both sides, but I'm going to use this stuff on the front because it's got a nicer gloss than this Mod Podge crap, which is more like a white glue. This is like a special real thick stuff. So what we're going to do is get our flow in here, hopefully. And just lay a decent layer around the outside. She's not coming apart now, thank freaking goodness. I'll just do a couple extras there. Most of that will probably get scooped back up into the uh, container here, but I just want a little bit more in these corners up here. We're going to basically like squeegee this stuff around. Kind of things. So what we want to do is start in a corner, and we'll just snow plow it sort of to the edge, and just kind of keep pushing like a bead of this stuff, and it forces it all down into the cracks and crevices and stuff. And yes, I'll go over it a few times, of course. Sorry, Mario, you just got drowned in glue. I am sorry, Mario. So, we're giving a nice shine, too, even though it was fairly decent before. 
So I'm thinking, thinking ahead here a little bit. I want to do a nice puzzle of maybe something to do with me and my channel. As in like a tractor or something of some sort as a puzzle and do one for the camera for you guys and then do like a giveaway to give one away. I just don't exactly know what I want to do for that puzzle yet. But I'm sure we can figure something out. But I think that'd be kind of neat. I haven't done any giveaway stuff for quite some time. Okay, now we got to start doing a, a nice layer to it. dry overnight. And flip it over. And we'll do the other side. here actually believe it or not if you submit a picture it'll do they'll make puzzles for you I guess they send away to another company that will make them so I'm like oh that'd be kind of cool maybe normally I'd scoop this back up but it seems to be all staying on good so I'm just gonna try to spread her down use her up It's not stuck down to the table. And I'll just look for any crappy looking lines. I got one right here. And hopefully that table's fairly level. <laughs> if it's not, that's not gonna be too good. fairly quick too so all right this is a water wash up glue which is nice so I'll go wash that little paddle guy off and I'll let that dry up overnight here we'll flip her over and do the next side with the Mod Podge all right next day see the one side a little curled up but that's not terrible bad so we should be able to pick it up now without it falling apart oh yeah that's good. Leaves a pretty nice, pretty nice shine to it. So that's pretty good stuff. But I got this other Mod Podge stuff that I used for the backs because um, it doesn't. It's not quite as shiny. But uh, we'll glue up the back. You probably don't need to, but that just uh, you know puts a little extra mayo on the sandwich kind of thing, right? So we'll get the Mod Podge out. Definitely smells different. And if she'll flow, see it's more like a white glue kind of stuff. <coughs> oh, pardon on me. Put a little extra on there to, to make her good, and we'll just end up probably spreading all that around. 
I don't know this Mod Podge. I think it's it says it's a, a puzzle saver, uh, but I think it's just the regular Mod Podge stuff. I remember my mom using this stuff, podging things we used to say. Basically, it's just like a like a white glue goes hard like a white glue. So yeah. Uh, okay. Well, let's start and uh, we'll start the snow plowing here. This puzzle sure was, it was fun, I'm gonna say, now that it's done. But it was a crap lot of work with all that blue. You know what I was gonna do, would make it really hard, and I don't think I ever would've got it finished, is do it upside down. <laughs> you don't even know if you've got the right pieces in the right spot, because a lot of them were kind of the same. So that probably would have sucked to do it upside down and then flip it over and hopefully it's it's all right. But I uh, thought against that. show you the other next puzzle I'm gonna try. This should be a pretty good one. After we get this glued up. That'll do. I'll let that dry up. And I got a little bit on the edges here, but uh, not much I can do with that. It slid off. But we'll let that dry up probably overnight again. Uh, it might be right, ready in a couple of few hours, but there we go. Podged up. But anyways, here's the next one I want to try to do here, and it's not a square shape, which I don't believe anyways, which is going to make it interesting. I presume it's this shape they're showing us here on the box. So, so big I can't even get you all in there. So that should be kind of cool. Uh, we should crack her open. Now this is a thousand piece. This thing is 26 inches by 30. I don't know which way is which, but I presume 26 by 30. Now, the thing is, my table, I'm doing these on here, is just one of these plasticky tables, and it is uh, currently measuring in at 28. 28. That way, and then I got lots of room the other way. So we might have to do it, we might have to do it, you know, turned kind of thing. So, but uh, anyways, uh, we'll get you up a little bit higher here. We'll Crack this box open and have a look at the parts. Alright, so 
Should be a pretty cool one when it's done. I'm just hoping that it is that shape, but you know, sometimes that's deceiving. And it's, it's like a square puzzle, but it's actually not a square puzzle, but maybe it is a square puzzle. I don't know, but let's, uh, it's plastic here. So I don't know what started me lately on a puzzle binge. I guess I needed something to do through the winter here. We started doing some puzzles. Oh boy. That's a lot of freaking pieces in there. Some of them are bigger, which is kind of nice, but... Wowee. Wowee. <laughs> well, I guess maybe... maybe. Oh, look, there's one there that's already joined. Still, still joined. That's nice. Another one there that's still joined. Those are nice ones to get. Helps you out a little bit, but uh, I don't know whether I want to crack this open up yet and uh, sort through here or or not. What does this say? Any feedback on this product? Blah 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 blah. blah. Okay, right on. But. Uh, Ooh, I'd like to get looking maybe at it and uh, see. Yeah, I think it is a round because there's looks like a round, a round side piece there. Where's that part from? I don't know. Not too sure. It's got like maybe fish parts. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, maybe we'll wait till we get Mario off the table, then we'll we'll look at this one. Okay, so I just like to let that for about an hour. Super Mario's dry, I think. So I'm gonna prop him up. Prop him up somewhere so it gets lots of air around him. And uh, he'll finish drying and then hang him up somewhere. Okay. A big fish. A big fish. So I'm just gonna look through these see if I can figure out which one are the side pieces. And which ones are not the side pieces. <laughs> so, let's so just dump it out on here. For some reason, I don't know why this is like the wall, one, two, three, I'm doing another one at the garage. This is the fourth one. They never seem to have as many pieces until you open it. Well, there's definitely a fish piece. That looks like his side of him or something there. So that's definitely a, a side. And uh, I'm just going to... Uh, there's another corner. There's another one there. I'm just going to dump the other ones right back in the box for now. Boy, that one, I don't know, is that one uh <laughs> Is that considered a side piece? I don't know, I'll leave, I'll leave it out. Sometimes they, they trick you. And with this one being... Weird shape. It's kind of hard to tell, but... That's a side. So I'm just going to look through these, we'll do a fast time here, and uh, get these snorted out.
Well, there we go. I think I got most of the corner pieces and side pieces picked out. Some maybe aren't, and, and uh, I don't know, it's hard to tell because some of them just have flat pieces on them, and other pieces don't. But uh, I think I've started the back part of the fish here or something. I'm not too sure, but uh, I don't, I'm not going to do a, a fast time on this whole entire assembly because you wouldn't actually believe how much time goes into that and how much work goes into that just to make a, I think it was like a 15 minute video last time. So I've got one ordered from Walmart. I'm just not sure on how the quality is. So I, I'm going to order one and then uh, put that one together maybe on uh, on video but uh, I just wanted to kind of show you this one because it was kind of cool but I'll show you this one when it's all done but there's going to be a, a lot of hours have to go into this I think to uh, to get them all together because there's definitely some really weird pieces in this one really some some really small ones one there I showed you look quickly it looked like a little tomahawk it was kind of cool but wow some like really here it is here actually some really funny pieces in this one so um once it kind of starts to get to the, the outside frame together, it shouldn't be super too bad because you just kind of try to color match everything. But there's a lot of pieces still in here. And like, you know, it doesn't look like much in the bot or in the bag, but man, there's a lot of freaking pieces in here. So, I mean, there's that, you know, it's got a little notch guy there. I don't think that's a, an outside piece, but I might have missed. There's a piece of fishy guy there, so he's probably good. With that somewhere but uh, basically I want to get the uh, the outline done first but then um, I'm gonna maybe have to commission potentially my other table to put the rest of these pieces onto because holy cow that's I don't think I'm gonna have enough room on this table so uh, but anyways we'll work on that one and show you that one when it's done Jesus one even looks like a like a t-shirt <laughs> there's some really tiny pieces too I'm like holy drop that be gone I don't know where they are in here now but a wee tiny little thing now, that one's small enough there but there was like really small little chunks but uh, yeah I'm gonna have to probably get my other table going but anyways just wanted to show you that and show you how I glue these guys and uh, hopefully Mario sits pretty good and we're all good to go but anyways thanks again for watching catch you all later and happy puzzling